and I put God shuffle to the door. Then you leap right out and count to four. Leap right out and count to four. If my main gone open wide, if my main gone open wide, I got a reserve by my side. I got a reserve by my side. So, what's up, my peeps? Matrix Native here. Today's video. That's right, cupcakes, another military build. So go ahead, have a seat, grab your popcorn, your beer, or your Coke. Not that kind of Coke operators. Jesus Christ, get your minds out of the gutter. Anyways, my peeps, let's get on with some comments. Okay, so for today's video, we had four suggestions, and my peeps voted in the 82nd Airborne Division 1. Hua hua, 80 deuce. 33% they won by. So, check out my Twitter feed tomorrow. We will have four more suggestions. So if you made a suggestion, make sure you get on my Twitter and vote on the poll. Next, Vatro, you are the best Wildlands YouTuber. Keep it up. Thanks a lot, Vatro. Again, my peeps really motivates me when you guys comment. LeBron James, you guys didn't know I knew him, did you? You're a superstar, underrated I'm sorry, I am a superstar though. You're a super underrated Wildlands YouTuber. One of the best in my opinion. Pat Max 79 love the new controls and crosshairs. And that comes from the new DLC that they did for the schematics on the chopper. That will be in the description as well, my peeps are at the end of the video. Next up, Capricorn Vapes. Hey Matrix, nice video. I tested the new gun aiming mode on the choppers too. For the first time to my knowledge, I ran out of bullets and rockets. I don't even remember that happening before. I believe they had infinite ammo. Correct me if I'm wrong. And as I say in the comments, it's always been like a Rambo infinite style M60. <laughs> never ran out of ammo and never needed to be reloaded. I have never heard that before running dry on the beer and dope or beans and bullets if you're an OG troop like me. My peeps, if you remember before the patch, if, if you had infinite, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I believe it was. Zooty83, great bitch bro, one of the best if not the best Wildlands YouTuber. Thanks Zoot, it really does mean a lot. Hark, hark, hark. That's one of the archangels right there, peeps. Next, Sam Gibson. Of course, the fuckers don't give us the shizette they teased us with. I believe that's the first comment from Mr. Gibson, not affiliated with the guitar. I don't believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, Sam, in the comments. Fallen 149, love the videos. And as always, I love when you guys comment. Mr. Secrets Gaming, where are you from? I wasn't going to reply to this, but it doesn't matter. I've stated in some of my videos, basically right outside the gates of hell, bro, to be honest. Grew up in Georgia after I retired from the military, settled on some land in Michigan. And last but not least, Beham's been giving me a shitload of intel lately. And basically, I know one of the mods on the Ubisoft forums, and he always messages me right when something new comes out. However, sometimes I'm asleep or at work and might not see it for 12 hours. He's part of the Birmingham crew. And last but not least, Bobby Brown. I'm not the first, but I'm the first one to admit it. Let's go. As always, my peeps, follow me on Twitter. Make sure you vote on next week's build. And let's get on with the video. The 82nd Airborne Division was constituted in the National Army on 5 August 1917 to support the United States entry into World War I. It was organized on the 25th of August 1917 at Camp Gordon near Atlanta, Georgia. Camp Gordon no longer exists, but a plaque commemorating the 82nd Division in Camp Gordon is located on site at Peachtree Executive Airport. I've actually been there, my peeps, and I've actually seen that plaque. During World War I, many U.S. divisions decided upon a nickname to help build esprit de corps and bond among the men. The commanding general, Brigadier General W.P. Burnham, held a contest in conjunction with the men of the division, the citizens of Atlanta, and the Atlanta Georgian newspaper. Thousands of suggestions poured into the newspaper, and it was up to the governor, Hugh Dorsey, B.G. Burnham, and Major R.E. Beebe 
to sift through them and all decide which entry would earn the honor of naming one of Uncle Sam's fighting divisions. The division held a very diverse group of men training to become a fighting unit. Many were immigrants who spoke little to no English, but one fact arose and Miss Vinnie Goodwin saw it immediately. There were men from each of the 48 states in the 82nd Division, which was unique for the times. Most divisions being organized for war encompassed men from three to five states only. Mrs. Vivian, as she became known, submitting the winning selection, the All-American Division. The original division shoulder sleeve patch of a red square with a blue circle in the middle would soon have troopers sewing a double A in the blue. The 82nd was one of the first seven U.S. divisions to arrive in England and fight in France. The division participated in the Battle of Lorraine in 1918 and the Campaign of St. Mill and Mousse Ogron in 1918. The first All-American killed in combat was Captain Juet Williams, 326th Infantry, on the night of 9 June 1918. Two All-Americans... Lieutenant Colonel Emery J. Pike, which this is kind of a side note here, peeps. My mom's actual maiden name is Pike, and we have actual heritage that goes back to Lieutenant Colonel Emery J. Pike. And, you know, I don't know if it was my destined, if it was just destined for me to go into the United States Army and basically be a paratrooper. My mom's side of the family was actually related to Lieutenant Colonel Emery J. Pike. Also, you might have heard of Corporal Alvin C. York, who was the first recipient of the United States Medal of Honor, would receive the Medal of Honor, as stated, for their actions or for his actions in combat. General John J. Pershing called Corporal York one of the greatest soldiers of all time and of World War I. So as stated, the 82nd Airborne Division is an elite airborne infantry division of the United States specializing in parachute operations in two denied areas. Now, present day, based at Fort Bragg, North Carolina, also home of Special Operations. The 82nd Airborne Division is part of the 18th Airborne Corps. The 82nd Airborne Division is the U.S. Army's most strategically mobile division. Some sources consider the 82nd Airborne Division to be the most highly trained light infant division in the world. And I must agree. And it's not just because I'm from the best country in the fucking world. No offense to anyone out there. But that's just how I feel. Recently, the 82nd Airborne Division has been conducting operations in Iraq, Afghanistan. Basically, the 82nd Airborne has been assigned to advise and assist Iraqi and Afghani security forces. So basically, the 80 Deuce was activated in 1917 to 1919, then deactivated, then reactivated in 1921 to present actually having a more historic and prestigious history than the 10th Mountain Division. And if you haven't seen that video, wait until the end of the video or check in the description below. There are a branch of the United States Army, obviously. Their role, basically, command and control organization containing two to four maneuvering brigades. They're part of the 18th Airborne Corps, as stated, garrisoned at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. So some of the nicknames for our boys in the 80 Deuce, All-American Division, 82nd Division, 82nd Infantry Division, America's Guard of Honor, the 82nd, and as stated a couple of times, within the infantry community, within the spec ops community, just basically 80 deuce, it's their motto all the way, or death from above. Basically some tits fucking mottos. So with that being said, my peeps, go ahead, take a five mic break, go outside, smoke them if you got them, bar them if you don't, hang that lipper, and if you're a weak son of a bitch, hit that freaking pull up bar. Let's get on with the build. Gory, gory, what a hell of a way to die. He ain't gonna jump no more. Okay, my peeps. So what you want to do is hit the back of their select button. You want to go into loadout. 
Enter and load out again. I want to apologize to everyone. Hit your Y, go to edit appearance. I want to apologize to everybody for not getting this video out yesterday. But uh, again, I've been feeling like a real ass the past couple of days. So, get my peeps going to head. Facial hair. We're going to be rocking the nun, of course, as always. I do, however, have a build coming out with a beard. So, just hold on to it. It's the hair. We're going to go with the Warhawk, of course. Hair color, brown. Facial detail, I'm going to go with the burn on the left side. Body details. What we're going to be doing, going with the facial paint of the big red one. One of the most historic and glorious infantry division, shall I say, in the history of the United States of America. Right arm, Santa Maria. Left arm, today we're going with the battle cross. Close tops, today we'll be going with the cry combat. As I've stated, I really like the cry combat gear. So it will be sweet if they ever unlock the new with the 32 cams. That's going to be pretty badass. So we'll go with the Cry Combat shirt and go ahead, put the 512 multi on it. Vest, not even going to hate you if you want to carry the 511 Tactate. However, I will be carrying the VTAC LBE land bearing equipment, load bearing equipment, a couple of... Uh, couple of words or definitions to that acronym. Anyway, the kit. We will be going with the 511 VTAC Tactical Vest. And we will be putting that in the number 10. Pants, we're going to be going with the Cry Combat. You'll be putting those in the number 512 Multicam. Going with a lot of NATO paints this time around. Footwear, I'm not going to hate you if you want to wear your combat boots, but we've never equipped them and why start now. We're going to be wearing the hiking boots, so we're going to be putting those in the black. Ghillie suit, obviously none. Accessories, the eyewears, we're going to have to go with the ESS Ballista goggles to keep some of that prop blast off of us, and you'll be equipping those in the black. Face wear, we're going to be going with none. Again, I like how the collar of the cry comes up high on your neck i think that helps out and I, the one thing i hate is having a gap of skin between said camo and like your t-shirt or something it's just ridiculous so anyways with that being said we're not going to wear anything this go around 80 second huh. headwear we're going to go ahead and wear the carbon high cut helmet it is indeed what they wear and we'll be putting the number nine coyote brown Headsets, we're just going to go ahead and equip the earpiece for this 80 deuce build, and we'll be putting that in the 4.6. Handwear, uh, you know, I thought a little bit about this, but really after thinking how much you will utilize preparing your kit and such, you know, strapping everything down with the 550 cord, you know, so it doesn't fly off your LBE and all that. So, you know, you got to have fingerless for the paratrooper. For this build, Again, Fingerless Cavalar, and we'll be putting that in the number 2-5. However, I'm not going to really hate you if you want to go with the Oakleys. I mean, after all, you know, this game isn't, like, even near 80% realistic. So, we'll go ahead, if you want to stay with the 80 Deuce, my 80 Deuce build, 2-5 Black. But to be honest, I'll probably switch those out to Oakley as needed in operations. Rucksack, we're going to go with the 511 Rush 72, um, whereas the 511 is more of a mobile ruck. It doesn't matter. It'll be strapped to your leg to begin with anyways. So, again, we're going with the CAD pad. We're going with the 1933, and I know I might get some comments, but for me personally, I feel like it fits this build 110%, even though I know you won't mix and match your paint out in the field, so to speak, but you never know. So this to me definitely does what we need it to do as far as shadowing, keeping your shadows in structure, and after all, that is why we wear camo. So go ahead, put it in the 1933. I'm not hating you. If you would like to put it in the chocolate chip or a variance of other multicams. But to me, to me, my personal opinion, I like the CAD Pat AR on the rucksack for this video game. Patches, obviously, you can go with any patch you want. I'll be rocking the Romeo 9. Okay, my peeps, weapon loadout. Go ahead. Primary, we're going to go ahead and equip the LMG, the MK48. Part of the reason why is so we can get that fancy, cool uh, magazine pouch to the front on our LCE. It's the boxed ammo. It's pretty hood. You can only get that if you equip the LMG as your primary. So let's go right into paint presets. 
paint presets we're going to actually be using some different paint presets today on one I have the bronze on the other I have the dark bronze and you're thinking matrix why are we equipping a metallic type of camo won't the reflection give us away my answer to that absolutely not it actually blends this camouflage in very well so with the LMG we're gonna go ahead and put it in bronze we'll put our secondary in the dark bronze and you yourself can go out and compare the two and you might want to go strict dark bronze or strict bronze or you know put them either or like I have them equipped so go ahead and equip the MK48 in the bronze parts stock bud stock go ahead and put that in the black scope I'm not hating you if you want to use the panoramic for this build today we're going to be using pretty much what they use unfortunately they don't give us the ACOG as an option so go ahead and equip the EXPS3 or the panoramic and put that in the 2.5 black trigger only one way there full auto only magazine of course we're going with the extended why wouldn't we and we would be putting the mag pouch in the 2.5 black vertical foregrip and I'm going to tell you why we're going with this foregrip it's an absolutely good foregrip to use and again I'm trying to keep it level I'm trying to keep it pretty much balanced to accuracy and handling and as you see there the foregrip that we go to quite a bit the Victor 2 obviously you know it gives up just a little accuracy you gain a little handling but to me for this build the vertical foregrip is what we're going with it keeps it nice and balanced out and you'll put that in the 25 black rail we're going to keep it simple we're going to rail cover again we'll be using this for grazing fire and effectively on a target within 100 meters so we will not really need any type of laser sight as you see you draw accuracy but your handling definitely suffers so go ahead and put that in the rail cover in the 25 black barrel we're going with the standard barrel why would we go with the long barrel again we're trying to keep everything you know balanced and again if you go with a long barrel we're not trying to snipe with this weapon so go ahead put it in the standard barrel and put it in the four or five tan muzzle we're going to be going with the compensator victor 2 why wouldn't we be and we'll put that in the black and for my peeps that don't have the compensator victor 2 open go ahead and try to open it for most of your weapons because we definitely 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 use this compensator quite a bit you'll be putting that in the 25 black and that's pretty much what you'll be carrying as an 80 deuce troop the mk48 a very remarkable and battle tested weapon okay secondary again this is a heavy gunner that's more specifically what we're going with for this troop today is a heavy gunner loadout as far as the weapons go and of course we'll be carrying the m4a1 because that is actually what they carry so let's get on in to the paint presets as stated we're going to be putting this in the dark bronze so go ahead and equip that take them both out see which one you like the best again if you don't have these open just put both the weapons in the dead leaves and go ahead and put all your exterior parts go ahead and silhouette them out black them out just put them in black my peeps if you do not have the bronze paint open go into parts of course stock bud stock we're gonna put that in the two six black now on the scope I'm gonna give you a couple of choices here basically you can use the digital scope that's what I'm going with you can use your panoramic for this video game I I still really do like this scope but seeing how we're gonna be using using this weapon pretty much from 400 meters all the way in to ground zero we'll go ahead and equip the digital scope so that it gives us a little more range plus I like the digital scope but you can equip the panoramic the XPS 3 or obviously the ACOG but for this build what I'm using today will be the digital scope would we'll be putting that in the 26 black trigger full auto semi magazine of course we will be equipping the extendo 50 if you don't have this open go ahead and equip the 30 or the 20 just watch fire control on target put that in the 26 black under barrel why wouldn't we we are going with any chance i get to carry the noob tube here i'm definitely carrying it the 40 by 46 millimeter nato a mic 203 just a whole lot of loving in a small little tube Go ahead, put that in the 2.6 black. 
rail we're going to keep it clean and we're going with the rail cover again trying to keep everything balanced if you go ahead and put a laser dot sight or a range finder as you see you lose quite a bit of handling so go ahead put the rail cover on and equip it in the 26 black barrel no reason to carry a long barrel we are not outfitting this m4 as a dmr so we will go ahead equip the standard barrel again you see the long barrel again you lose the handling we're trying to keep this weapon buffered down so we'll go ahead and equip that in the standard barrel 4610 muzzle go ahead pull up your suppressor as you guys know i like to have at least one of my weapons that are slung over my back I like to have at least when I'm suppressed. It is very unlikely that I will go out in the field without a suppressor on one of my slung weapons. So, with that being said, go ahead, put the suppressor in black, go to your stock muzzle, put it in 2.6 black, and equip the stock muzzle and switch to the suppressor as needed on target, as usual. And that, my friends, is our secondary for today's loadout. It would be our primary. Again, though, I want to go with the LMG as our primary so that when you look at the LCE, you will definitely be able to see the different mag pouch you get when you equip the LMG as or the MK248 as your primary. But this right here, my boys, battle tested, true and true. The weapon of choice for most of your line units and quite a lot of your high speed units in the United States military. The old M4A1 with the tube underneath. Let's go. Handgun. We're going to go ahead and equip the Beretta M9. It's what they would be carrying, so why not? You know I love my M1911. However, the M9 Beretta actually did take the place of the M1911. So, paint presets. If you don't have this... The blue-gray, just go ahead and put it in black and just equip everything in black except for your bill. You'll put that in gray. But again, if you got the blue-gray, go ahead and equip it. We're going to parts real quick. Magazine, we're going to go ahead and go with the standard. I'm not hating you if you go with extended. I just cannot stand the look of it. With the extended, pretty much the only extended I, I would use would be with the six-hour. And this is definitely not the six-hour, so we'll go ahead and just equip it in the standard 2.5 black. Excuse me. Rail, we're going to go with the rail cover, 2.5 black. Again, if you want to start throwing sights on it, you lose uh, handling attributes. So I'm not about that. We're just going to equip it. And plus, I like my, my sidearm. Just to be clean, we're going to go with the rail cover, 2.5 black. Barrel, standard barrel, put that in the light gray. Muzzle, again, suppressor, go ahead and subdue it in the 2.5 black. But go ahead, go to your stock muzzle. Subdue it, go ahead, throw it in the black, 2.5 black, and go ahead and equip the stock muzzle. And that, my friends, the Barretta 9mm, also known as the M9. Everything else, my peeps, is optional, obviously. Uh, a lot of my friends are hua hua badass drone operators. They got theirs all tricked out. As you see, I don't. I don't even have my mind C4 diversion lure or flash grenade unlocked at this time because me, myself, I like using the frag grenade and the flare gun and that's pretty much what I like to use. Now, eventually, I will go ahead and equip these. I got the points to equip them now. I just, you know, just not feeling it. So, again, all this is optional, my peeps. You can set your drone up any way you want. All your C4, mine, flash grenade, diversion lure, all that is optional depending on who you're playing with, what they need you to do specifically. You might have to equip these. And with that being said, my peeps, I just want all my operators out there to know. I know I don't say it enough, but I do appreciate you watching my vids, you know, commenting on the videos, just overall supporting the channel. I couldn't thank you enough, and without you, I would be nowhere. I know sometimes I get on the history of my builds and I'm just out on my own world. But I want you to know that it's Hua and I appreciate you so much. So with that being said, if you're new around here, go ahead and snipe the sub. It certainly helped me out. Tell all your friends about my channel. I'd certainly appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day today. I hope tomorrow's amazing. I hope yesterday was amazing. And you know what to do. Go ahead and snipe the like, snipe the sub. My peeps, Operator 41, that's how we roll.
Dreaming big, town is small, and it's going down. All I need is a microphone, I'm headed for the crown, y'all. Call me whack, call me weak, say I'll never blow. Memphis bleak, they know like the radio that Henderson was meant to speak. I'm on these tracks, just like Thomas, I'm the truth, just being honest. Y'all a bunch of Martin and Anthony's, yeah, that's prima donnas. Way ready, they know the deal. Henderson just show a skill. Way that I just go at will, you can call me Uncle Phil. You working, but I work harder to the day I'm Mr. Carter. My girl is a mix between Mrs. Larder and Mrs. Carter. And I'll never dumb it down, I guess what I just fit is smarter. I'm a master of my trade, no, I won't forget the butter. I, you know I won't forget it. And when it comes to life, you know I won't regret it. Yeah, I'll say that shit simple and plain. If you thinking I'ma change, well, you must be insane, motherfucker. Still many, I've been feeling like the one and you just wanna many, uh I'm still me, uh-huh, I'm still heavy, yet I'm feeling like the one and you just wanna many. I jig ahead the hard night light, 50 getting rich and die. Headed to that B-side records looking for some shit to buy. Had that Eminem when Nelly spoke that country grandma Dre Chronic 2001. Well that shit hit like a hammer. Had that Kanye West right around when he dropped out. First fabulous stats when Luda popped out. Southern hospitality, that shit shaped my reality. Killing it with Styles P, that shit was like a casualty. Yeah, listen.